Hey guys, LBF back here, back again with another Vans review. Today we're taking a look at the Altrange XOSE. This is from the Chris Johansson collection. Colorway Swirl Antique White, size 13. Retail was 110. This collection with Chris Johansson dropped a couple of weeks back on the Vans website, but I believe these are starting to pop up in stores now. A fairly large collection of both footwear and apparel pieces. There was five shoes in the pack, two authentic SFs, a Destruct SF, the all trained here, and then a pair of Trek slip-ons, which were like straight up a knock on Crocs, but I love it. Still trying to find those. Hopefully I can get a review on those. Um, lots of apparel as well, shirts, uh, hats, hoodies, and I think there were some board shorts as well. The whole idea behind the collection, trying to keep it as environmentally friendly as possible, using recycled materials, organic cotton, um, you know, no leather or anything like that to this entire collection is vegan as far as I'm aware. So the all trains here featuring the organic cotton on the canvas upper here, this entire upper in that organic cotton canvas, we do see that swirl design, which he's probably best known for, but um, he definitely has a lot of other stuff as well. And the swirl design, totally different on each shoe, just when you thought it couldn't get any busier. We got more going on here, which is super crazy on these. It's just crazy to see patterns like this on an all range. Like this is the kind of stuff you would, you know, typically see on an authentic or something, something that's not already crazy, but the all range just gives it like just a little extra edge. Um, so just your standard all range makeup though, of course, with the foam soles here and the, the co-molded outsole with that rubber and then the foam peeking through. Got the maximum traction with, of course, the, the comfort of the foam and the lightweightness of the foam as well. Featuring the translucent rubber around all the reinforced areas. So you got that on the toe box here, on the, like the Ollie pad, around the heel, and then also on the arc of the foot on the medial side. You got these jute laces on here, which definitely give it like a, a hemp vibe. They're pretty cool, a little rough. The eyelets, which are just sewn in there on the side. The blue and cream Vans hits throughout, of course, on the tongue tag, on the flag on the side, the pull tab on the heel. On the inside of the shoe here, we do see cork insoles, which is pretty cool. You don't see these often. Chris Johansson hit on the top there. The benefit of the cork insole is gonna be that it wicks away moisture, keeps your foot dry. You got the little uh, straps on the side here to make sure that that tongue isn't going back and forth or getting caught on one side, which is always helpful. These do fit true to size. They do feel a little bit different than, you know, your standard all trains just without the mesh on the shoe. Just having that like all canvas upper, it does make it slightly stiffer. But I mean, the sizing for sure stays the same, true to size on these. Some of the other shoes in the pack featuring recycled rubber outsoles, which are pretty crazy. It actually had scraps of like the leftover material that was used to make these embedded into the rubber. So it looked like Funfetti. These ones don't really have too much rubber in the actual sole. So I guess they decided to not include that with these. But um, if you guys pick up the authentic SFs or the Destructs, you'll notice those crazy outsoles. You guys can find these on the Vans website and they will hopefully be in stores um, either this week or uh, the next week. Hopefully I can find those slip-ons so I can give you guys a review on those. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoy the review. Be sure to stay tuned for the on-feet.